In this mini lecture, we are going to discuss what are the properties or what are the characteristics characteristics sorry of a computer. The very first characteristic which comes to our mind is speed. Computers can do millions and billions and even trillions of operations per second. We humans do not have that particular capability. Let us say I create a table having two columns. Okay, let me show you. Let me say I create a table having two columns. Okay, I say this is column A and this is column B. And let's say I have some numbers in these particular columns. Okay, and let's assume I have 10,000 rows of data like this. If I have to find the sum of A plus B for each row, if I have to do it using pen and paper for 10,000 numbers, it will probably take me all day at the minimum. But a computer can do this particular operation in no time. So the biggest advantage of a computer is it is able to process or execute commands or instructions at a very very high speed. That's what you mean by speed. And that is one of the reasons why it is used in so many places including cars. There are computers within cars nowadays. Accuracy. Let's take back the example I gave you a little before. If I had to add the 10,000 num 10, numbers from A to B, I am 100% sure we would have at least made one mistake in adding those two numbers. But the computer is not going to make any errors on its own unless we have given the wrong numbers or wrong input. Diligence. That means, see, I and you are human beings. A computer is a machine. So it doesn't have emotion. Suppose I give you one lakh numbers, after a while you'll get tired, you'll lose your concentration and you'll make mistakes. But a computer being a machine, it consists, continues to remain accurate, give you perfect results irrespective of how many times you make it do that given thing. It doesn't lose concentration, it doesn't get tired. So that's why it's able to do things very accurately. Another important property of a computer, a computer has a vast amount of memory. So as I told you in one of my previous classes, if I had to store in books what is stored in a computer memory, I would require huge shelves to store. Plus it would be extremely difficult to search, extremely difficult to organize and find information. Whereas a computer's memory not only has excellent capacity to store but we can quickly find out information stored within a computer using various tools at our disposal. Now you may say oh computer is so great here why do we have people but one thing you are many many times smarter than the smartest computer because the computer has no intelligence or no common sense on its own. We can train it to behave like a human being, but a human being at least at present is many, many times smarter than the smartest computer. Next property, versatile. With computers, you can type in documents into Word. You can watch videos. You can play games. Okay. You can do a num. You can do accounting. You can do a number of different tasks, which we are going to look in the next video session about what are the applications or where all computers are used. So it's able to do different things in different fields, something which humanly one person may not be able to do everything. Like it can play chess with you, it can allow you to watch a video game, you can listen to a song, you can watch a movie, you can write a program to do something, you can control the light bulb, okay, you can control the water flow, something you cannot humanly possible to be done manually. So it's extremely capable of doing different kinds of things. Reliable. Reliable is somewhere combined with accuracy. Since it's a machine, it doesn't get tired, doesn't have emotions. If the input and data is correct, it's going to produce the perfect results for you each and every time. So you can rely on a computer to provide the correct results for you each and every time you use it. Unlike human beings, at a certain day, we may be tired. I say, today I'm tired here. You may see, oh, my teaching is not up to the mark. But that will never happen with a machine. Because a machine is capable of 
doing the things again and again very reliably because it doesn't have any of the emotions associated with the human being. Automatic. Once you give the instructions and data, you don't need to see and watch it. Suppose I write a program to read in 1 lakh students marks card, calculate the percentage and rank. I don't need to bother. It will read the lines. It will generate, can do the calculation and then it will print it out for us. I really don't have to interfere at every stage. If manually I had to do it, I would have 100 people do the same result doing. I had to sit on their head, supervise them and get the results. So that is the best thing. It does automatically once instructions which are clear and data is available, it will deliver it for you. This is a very famous saying, G-I-G-O, garbage in, garbage out. What it means is computers not being smart will not be able to do anything to find out mistakes in your input or something. So let me tell you what it is. Suppose I give correct instructions, but I give wrong data or I give wrong data and I give correct instructions. My computer is not going to produce the correct results because it is a machine. It will simply tell you what you want it to do. So a lot of times you have seen when marks cards come out of different universities, different boards, you say they say computer error. It is not actually the computer doing the error. It's the human being who is operating it has possibly given it incorrect instructions or data. Although there are other characteristics of a computer, but these are the most important and critical ones. So just be sure you understand what are the properties of a computer and this is what makes them valuable to use in day-to-day -day life.